So guys, today I'm going to be doing another awesome video on another SWC product. And this one today we're going to be talking about is the Sanctified Weaving Company Sanctified Adventure Tool Navigator. Essentially out of response to the first product uh, not essentially being able to track enough mileage or enough meterage, if you, whatever you want to call it. And essentially this one is set up more traditionally of how a normal uh, or pace beads slash ranger beads are set up and so what essentially this is is down here just like in the traditional SAT this would be your 100 meter or 100 yard count down here and there's nine beads of 100 meters slash yards and then up here is six uh, and I just chose six uh, because that's quite a few but these are essentially your thousand meter yard uh, counters so essentially how this would work is you have all these beads at the top up here or closer to this and essentially you would slide them all down until you got to 900 and then once you're at 900 one second, let me move this. And so once you're at 900, if all these beads were down, this would equal 1,000 meters or yards. And then you would slide all of these back up and then recount them back down until you got to 1,000. 900 meters or yards and then you'd slide the next one down and that'd be 2,000. So essentially that is how the navigator works and that's how the most traditional pace speeds work as well. But once again this is done entirely of paracord and I wanted to still bring a lot of the awesomeness that was in the original SAT with the whole fact of being able to integrate things like the compass or to be able to easily attach it to backpacks and stuff just like the uh, normal SAT but for those people who needed larger uh, volumes to count by if they were going you know kilometers instead of just meters this would help you so that is the new SWC Navigator and I've been playing around with this one for quite some time. I really, really enjoy this one. It is a little bit longer than the traditional SAT or Sanctified Adventure tool. So do keep that in mind. But aside from that, it's still everything that the SAT original, the base SAT is, just with the fact of this extra added uh, thousand meter pace speed up here so I also want to note that another thing I did with these just so that you wouldn't get confused with which was which uh, these use a different type of knot so this top knot here is the thousand meter or a thousand two thousand three thousand so forth meter pace speed and this bottom rack of knots which you guys can see there are two different styles so you won't get confused this is the hundred meters these are the thousand meters or you know yards meters whatever you want to use so that was another thing I did to help cut down on confusion because something else I noticed with a lot of pace speeds and other pace counter systems is that they use the same uh, beads up here and they use the same beads down here and while there are more of these beads so you probably won't get confused just to make sure that there was absolutely no confusion in what you were moving I made them a different style of bead just so that there was no Options confusion go with the SAT navigator they're a little bit different so how it is is you can get just a standard base navigator which will be just this you know bead cord system without any additional add-ons then you can get just a ferro rod which I actually don't have one here with a ferro rod but you can get one with just a ferro rod attached no no compass then you can get one with the compass and the ferro rod and then you can get one with just the compass so pick it how you want it to be set up for you uh, one thing I will know if you're getting the compass keep in mind that if you do get the compass that's better for interfacing with a map whereas if you don't really think you'll be interfacing with a map much you just want to keep track of your mileage or your meterage, whatever you want to call it, um, it would be better to get it without the compass just so that you can attach this to a piece of gear like your backpack. And I'll roll in some pictures of this attached to different things to show you guys what I'm talking about. Whereas if you, like I said, if you're thinking about using it with a map or in conjunction with a map and getting this with a compass or getting this uh, base unit and hooking a compass up to it. So anyways guys, 
Hopefully you've enjoyed this quick kind of look at the SAT Navigator. The standard SAT is not going anywhere because it's a still a very awesome system and a lot of you guys still really love the SAT and the SAT is still a great one but uh, the Navigator like I said is just for people who need that extra uh, amount of yardage or meterage so whichever one you use uh, it's just to fit your needs as well. I personally like the Navigator a little bit more just for the fact that when I'm on really long hikes this is an easier system to use because once again with if you just get a standard base SAT with 10 beads um, you'll have to start over or mentally write down essentially every thousand meters or yards you go through whereas with this you have 6,000 yards or meters to go through before you have to start taking notes on how far you've gone so once again just allows you that little bit of extra length and it's overall a little bit more helpful for the people that need that extra length anyways guys that's the swc sat navigator that's all i have for now thanks for watching and don't forget to comment like share subscribe and i'm out